The 76-page report is the result of three months of researching, reviewing, and meeting with law enforcement and schools. What we really wanted to do is look at that pathway to violence and how do we disrupt that pathway to violence wherever we can. A state task force has come up with 59 ways to keep New Hampshire schools safe, focusing on preventing an attack, knowing how to deal with one, and knowing how to recover from one. A lot of the recommendations have to do with mental health, like expanding social and emotional learning programs at all levels of education. How to get people help that need it. That was really the biggest takeaway. There are suggestions for building upgrades like bulletproof glass and communication improvements, including an anonymous tip line, a school-based see something, say something campaign, and installing panic buttons. The state will also work on training programs with schools and first responders. Whether it be a best practice, whether it be a piece of equipment, whether it be training, whether it be education, whether be curriculum. We, we're here to support them. One recommendation calls for a group to study background checks to see if changes are needed, but that's the only direct mention of gun control issues. That discussion has been going on nationally for years, so that wasn't going to be solved in 90 days. Certainly, um, we wanted the actionable items, so that really was off the table for us. If we couldn't find a quick, actionable solution, then we just didn't discuss it. The state is putting together a team to start looking at implementation plans starting on Monday. And if you'd like to see this full report, you can find it on our website at WMUR.com. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9. Okay.